Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am just revising a few results on differentiation. This you might have learned in plus two. But it is very uh, useful for all the first year BATEC students. Please welcome. For defining a derivative of a function, let us first consider y is equal to f of x as the function. Then the derivative of y, we are denoting it by y dash or you can denote it by f dash of x. And this defined as limit delta x tends to 0, f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x. Okay, if this limit exists, we can say that the function is differentiable. This is actually the theoretical way of uh, representing the uh, derivative of a function. See, we can define geometrically the derivative means it is the slope of the tangent to a curve. Or we may we can say it is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. Okay. Now we are moving on to few formulae on derivative. Now some important formulae. d by dx of x raised to n. Derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1. Derivative d by dx of e raised to x is the same e raised to x. But if it is e raised to ax, its derivative is a times e raised to ax. Now, derivative of log x. Log x whose derivative is 1 by x. Then, derivative of constant. See, always you remember, derivative of constant is equal to 0. Now, come to trigonometric function. You know, there are 6 trigonometric functions, right? Now, what about their derivatives? d by dx of sin x, sin x whose derivative is cos x. d by dx of cos x, cos x whose derivative is minus sin x. d by dx of tan x, tan x whose derivative is sec square x. Okay? Then sec x whose derivative is sec x into tan x, sec x into tan x. Then derivative of cosec x is Cosec x, what is the derivative? It is minus cosec x into cortex. Now the last one is derivative of cortex. Cortex whose derivative is minus cosec square x. So you, whenever we, are a different, we, we, we want to differentiate a particular function, you have to keep in mind all these formulae. Apply the, one of these formulae. Okay? Now we have uh, certain rules of differentiation. Two important rules we have. One is the product rule and the second one is the quotient rule. So we are moving on to uh, that formula. Two basic rules we have in differentiation. One is the product rule and the other is the quotient rule. The product rule says that d by dx of uv. uv means the product. u is the first function, d is the second function. d by dx of uv is equal to u into v dash plus v into u dash. See this says that the derivative of the product, the first function into second function, product is equal to first function into derivative of second plus second function into derivative of first. So this is known as the product rule. Now we have the second rule, it is quotient rule. When the function takes the form something by something, what is the rule? d by dx of u by v that is equal to v into u dash minus u into v dash whole divided by v square. Or we can say the derivative of u by v is equal to denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator whole divided by denominator the square. This is called a quotient rule. So keep in mind these two important rules of differentiation, the product rule and the quotient rule. Now we are moving on to few questions. The first question y is equal to sin x plus x square. What is its derivative? The derivative y dash is equal to, there are two terms, okay. So, derivative of first term plus derivative of second term. So, sin x derivative is cos x, x square derivative is 2x. Now, look at the second question. y is equal to x into cos x. You can see this is a product, okay. So, we need to, need to apply product rule. First function into 
derivative of second cos x is derivative of minus sin x plus second function into cos x into derivative of the first function that is 1. Therefore, it is minus x sin x plus cos x. Okay. Now, look at the third problem. It is very simple. Y is equal to 4x cube plus x square plus 5. Its derivative is y dash is equal to 4 into x cube. x cube is derivative 3x square. So, 3 into 4, 12x square plus x square derivative is 2x and 5 is a constant whose derivative is 0. Okay. Now, come to the um, question 4, question number 4. Y is equal to sin x by x. See, this is u by v form. Okay. So, there we have to apply question rule. Y dash is equal to denominator into derivative of numerator. So, x into sin x whose derivative is cos x minus numerator into derivative of denominator. So, sin x into derivative of denominator is 1. Whole divided by denominator square. So, uh, simplifying it is x cos x minus sin x divided by x square. This is the final answer. And question number 5. Y is equal to x into log x. And you can see this is of the form u into v product. So, first function into derivative of second function. Log x whose derivative is 1 by x. Plus second function into derivative of first. So, log x into 1. So, x and x get cancelled. We will get 1 plus log x. And the last question is y is equal to sin 5x. Not sin x, it is sin 5x. So what will be the derivative? So y dash is equal to, you can treat this as sin of something. Sin of something whose derivative is cos of something. And that something also we should consider. Okay. So what will be the derivative? Sin 5x derivative is cos 5x as it is. Cos 5x. Into, you have to consider this 5x again. 5x again, that's actually the chain rule. So, d by dx of 5x. Hence, the answer is cos 5x into derivative of 5x is 5. So don't write 5 into 5, 25x, don't write. So, you have to write 5 in the beginning. Okay, so answer is 5 cos 5x. So, these are few questions on differentiation. I hope you all understood what I discussed today. Thank you very much.